Hi folks and welcome to a third in the series of videos showing our Salesforce Toolkit for IBM BPM. In this uh, video we're going to talk about a couple of coach views that are supplied with the toolkit that allow us to visualize Salesforce objects and the records within Salesforce objects. So at a high level when one is designing screens within the IBM BPM product those screens are known as coaches and those coaches are composed from building blocks called coach views. Once we've installed the Salesforce toolkit we'll find that we've got two new coach views which we can use to build our screens. These are called Salesforce list and Salesforce record. So let's look at each one in turn. First of all we've got the Salesforce list coach view and when added into the screen it looks like this. Now the purpose of Salesforce list is to be able to show you a list of records contained within a Salesforce object. So when we uh, for example look at uh, 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 Salesforce here we are looking at the accounts object and here are each of the records within the Salesforce accounts object. So within the BPM world we can create ourselves a Salesforce list, hit the run button, look at a coach, here comes the coach and what we have here is an instance of our Salesforce list record and what we're seeing is the same information that we see in Salesforce but this time within our BPM environment. Now we can completely customize the look and feel and interaction of this to our heart's content. Right now we've said that we want to list the accounts object and uh, we haven't provided any filters so it's showing us all the details of the accounts object. Every single record contained within the accounts object. So if I come in and let's say I don't want to select every field in that. Let's change this to, for example, just the name, the type, and the shipping state from the account object. Uh, run it again, hit the play button, and now we should see that we just have the name, the account, and the shipping state. So again, here are our rows and records. Now this may be too much data for what we want to display. Maybe we only want to display a subset of this. So we can come in here, uh, I don't know, let's say show the footer, show the pager, and have a page size of five records per page. Hit the play button, now we come back to the screen, and now we'll find that we are paging through our records. So there's all kinds of very useful bells and whistles on our uh, Salesforce list coach view. And of course this gives us a list of all the different records within uh, the, the Salesforce object. We can define menus, we can define selection and so on and so on. The second coach view I want to show you is the one known as the Salesforce record object. Now the Salesforce record object given an individual Salesforce record will then allow us to see all the fields within that record and allow us to make changes to those fields which can be reflected back into Salesforce. Now typically, typically we associate this with the list coach view so that within the list coach view we select a record then we are drilling into the details of that record. But we don't have to, we just need some way of being able to select a unique record so we might have had that passed into us as a parameter or we might have queried that uh, through a, a, a lookup. For example an email comes in with a customer's uh, identity. We might for example look up the record associated for that customer and then immediately display it. Now within the Salesforce record again we've got all kinds of uh, capabilities to tweak its appearance and its interaction characteristics but let's go see what it looks like. So again we run our coach and the coach opens up and we initially start here on the top this is the Salesforce list view that we've seen before. Now if I select uh, for example my super company if I select this record we, oh, I got myself logged out. Let me log back in again. Uh, 
da, 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 nearly there. And uh, so we select a, a, a record within the object and we're now seeing all the details of that record within the environment. So here is the details of it and all the different attributes. Now if we look here, we see that the shipping state is defined as Texas. Let me go to uh, Salesforce. This is the real Salesforce. Let me go find my super company. Let me go and change the details of my super company. Let me change it from Texas to be, let's say, California. So I say California and I hit save and I've now updated the record in Salesforce. Now, if I come back to uh, 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 my BPM environment. Now let's reselect my super company and we scroll down and we now find it's California. Great. So you can see here that we can update data in um, Salesforce and then from updating it in Salesforce we can see that data being replicated back into BPM. So let's try it the other way. Let's go and change within BPM. This is the BPM coach. Let's come in and change the state of shipping from uh, to New York this time. So I've made a change. I commit that change. Now at this point I can undo it if I want. I can, uh, I can change my uh, record, my fields here. And then once I've changed my fields, I can say I want to save those back to Salesforce. They're now sale Salesforce. Come back here. Go find my super company, go look at the details of my super company and scroll down and now we see it's New York. And that's about all I wanted to show from the uh, from the uh, the story here. Let me log in one more time and show you again what the coach looks like. And uh, not now. So looking at the coach, we will see in just a moment just a moment that the coach definition contains our Salesforce coach views and uh, we've got two coach views for you. One lists individual one lists the records in an object and the other allows us to drill in to the details of that record. Now how you decide to use these in your own BPM solutions is completely up to you. Nothing to prevent you from having uh, coach views which uh, interact with uh, your BPM environment. Perhaps you're working a case, perhaps you're working a step in a process, perhaps you need to look up details of a customer contained within Salesforce. That can all be done now from within this single BPM environment to give you a seamless interaction between the BPM world and the Salesforce world. I hope you found something useful here, folks, and uh, I'll be talking with you again soon. Bye for now.